welcome back welcome back everyone and in this one i'm going to show you guys how to connect your raspberry pi camera module 3 to your raspberry pi 4 and your raspberry pi 5 for the purpose of this video i'm going to simply show you how to connect it to both of them but then actually use just the raspberry pi 5 because i think moving forward most people are probably going to buy the raspberry pi 5 and not the 4 so i'll show you how to connect it to the 4 how to connect it to the 5 and write some code to take a picture using the 5 and to record about 5 or 10 seconds worth of video using the 5 as well both whatever code you write on the 4 or the 5 will work on either one so you don't need to worry simply write the code run it and it will work so let's go so let's quickly have a look at what's inside the box of the raspberry pi camera so all we get in the box is the raspberry pi camera itself which is this green thing here this circuit looking thing here we have two ribbon cables now this white ribbon cable with the blue tape at the end this is going to be for the raspberry pi 4 and below so that's raspberry pi 1 raspberry pi 2 raspberry pi 3 raspberry pi 4 this will work with those for the newer raspberry pi 5 you will need this new ribbon cable because they changed the way it connected the raspberry pi 4 has a csi and dsi port and what that is i'll quickly open and show you actually the csi and dsi port one port is going to be for camera and one is going to be for display so this one here is going to be for camera and this one's going to be for display you cannot use them interchangeably whereas with the raspberry pi 5 if i can open this what they've done is they've put two ports here and both of these ports here will work with either the camera or the display whereas this one is a pci express port this will not work so don't worry about that one for now these two here you can plug that cable that newer cable into either one of these and it will work perfectly fine so when connecting your raspberry pi camera module 3 to your raspberry pi 4 you have to be super Super, super careful well it's not going to damage it in any way to be fair but just be sure that you plug your camera into this one here so with the ports facing the right hand side you plug the camera ribbon cable into this one here so that's all you have to do so the way you would plug in the camera module to your raspberry pi 4 again this is for display and this one is for camera with the ports facing to the right the one closest to it is going to be for the camera and what you would do you would have the the pins upwards facing you so not the part with the blue the other part with the pins facing you and you would simply pull that black section up so you can slide it in you have to have the pins facing the white part so when you push it in you can see where to how far down the pin go that's how you would have to connect it to the raspberry pi 4. so i'm going to try and connect it properly now let me pull this black section up and then i'm going to put that there once it goes roughly flushed against it i'm going to squeeze those black things at the side to make sure it's tight and snug in there and all i'm going to do is to try and yank it a tiny bit so once i try to pull it and it doesn't come out then i know it's locked in tightly enough and that's how you connect the camera module 3 to your raspberry pi 4 what i'm going to do now i'm going to jump onto my pc write some python code or copy some python code over and show you how to take a picture using the camera and also how to record like a 5 or 10 second video and do exactly the same thing for the raspberry pi 5 so rather than connecting to my raspberry pi directly i'm going to use raspberry pi connect i set it up in a previous video so if you're not sure how to set it up this works for both raspberry pi 4 and the raspberry pi 5 i'm going to connect via screen sharing so i'm going to click and again the way you do this is you go to google and you type in raspberry pi connect you search for it the very first one that comes up you click on it to sign in i'm going to click on sign in here it takes me straight to my account because i'm already signed in but if you if you don't have an account you go ahead and set one up after that i'm going to connect click on where it says connect via and i'm going to connect via screen sharing right this is just the easiest thing to work with in my opinion now i'm connected to my raspberry pi what i'm going to do i'm going to open thunny so i'm going to go to my start menu here or my apps menu here i'm going to go to where it says where's programming um here at the top i'm going to go to funny this is my funny window here and all i'm going to do because i already have my raspberry pi camera module 3 attached i'm going to copy and paste some code i found i'm copying from my windows machine so for me to paste it into this window here i'm going to click on the one that says paste to remote if i copy from remote it's going to allow me to copy from the raspberry pi the code i have is on my pc on my windows pc here so i've copied it now i need to paste to remote once i paste that so this is the code i copied over and now all i have to do I sh all i should have to do is run this code and it will take a picture and save it to this location here so i'm going to go ahead and hold up my raspberry pi camera so it can show my desk i'll take a picture and then open it and show you guys i'm going to click on run now that program has been run now for some reason when i copied this i got all these extra characters at the end of these lines so please make sure that if you do this you remove these as well otherwise you might have some issues running the program if you do decide to use my code on screen i'm going to put this on the website as well and in the description of this video please be sure that you change the name here where it says home runs tech hub this is normal pi if you leave it as default but obviously mine is runs tech hub whatever you named your raspberry pi or your username sorry that's what you put in here instead so now i'm going to press run on here and i'm going to hold up my raspberry pi camera just so we can see 
the rest of my desk properly. I'm going to click on run and that should take roughly two seconds to take a picture. Don't worry about the red stuff there. It still works fine. I'm going to put that down. I'm going to open my file manager here and then I should have two pictures. I should have one picture in here. I'm going to click on that picture to open it. And yeah, that's my desk. That's my capture card there. That's my Raspberry Pi 400, my Raspberry Pi Pico 2 W, my laptop on the desk over here. So everything works perfectly fine. So that's how we take a picture using the Raspberry Pi camera module three on the Raspberry Pi four. It works exactly the same way on the Raspberry Pi five. So I'm going to go ahead now, close this, close this. Uh, might as well save this somewhere. And I'm going to go ahead and find a way to do a video using the camera as well. So now I've got the code for the video as well. I'm going to paste from remote, paste to remote. I'm going to get rid of all of these weird characters at the end of the lines here. Now you only need to remove the ones at the end of code. The ones at the end of comments are not important, but if you want to get rid of them, you can as well. That's fine. I told chat GPT to make this a 10 second video. I'm going to change it to five just so it's not too long, just because we're testing. Change that to five and change this to five as well. Now I'm going to hold up the camera again. I'm going to simply wiggle the cable so it moves around so you can see a proper video and I'm going to press run and see what happens. Pressing run now. Made that mistake again. I didn't change this to uh, runs tech hub. I'm going to press run again and see what happens. All right, perfect. So it says my video was saved. So I'm going to open my file manager and that's the video there. So let's, it is roughly 3.9 megabytes. I'm going to click on it, double click to open it and see if it plays. Yeah, it plays perfectly fine. Not the best quality in the world, but I think what I'm going to be using this for later on is actually to do some OCR. So that's optical character recognition. I want to try and make an ANPR system using a Raspberry Pi 4, Raspberry Pi camera, and just to, just to have some fun with the project. So hopefully that was useful to someone. Please stay tuned.